Welcome everybody to the Conway Select Board meeting of Monday, December 6th. Um, first item on the agenda, uh, approving minutes, but we don't have it. Do, uh, we don't have any minutes, do we? Yeah. 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 Verne, can you mute for a couple of minutes to see? I'm sorry. Could you mute? There's still something weird going on. Let's just see if it fixes it, and I think it did. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, Veronique. I'm not picking on you, honest. <laughs> All right. So the approving the minutes of November 22nd. Did you get a chance to look at them, Bob, Erica? No, yeah, yeah, they look great. Yeah, they look good to me. I, I make All a motion right. that we approve the minutes. I Sounds second good. it. All in favor? Yes, unanimous. Very good. Aye, yes. Um, warrants. Uh, gosh, where is that again? Uh, we have three warrants. We have an accounts an accounts payable of $154,732.43. Um, we have a payroll warrant of $132,525.41. And we have a payroll deduction warrant $32,012.24. Everybody okay with those? I make a motion that we accept the warrants. I second that. I think we're approving them. We approve these warrants. I approve, approve them, them. Yes. yes. Yes, yes. Very good. good idea. All in favor, aye. Aye. It's unanimous. Meetings attended by select board members. Erica. Um, Veronique and I were both at a meeting on um, Friday, which was a meeting of the um, website uh, subcommittee, um, and we demoed Ooh. a product um, called Civic Plus, um, which looked really promising. Um, so we're still in the in, in the process of evaluating different solutions for the town website. Ooh, wonderful. I, I had no conservation commission meetings in the last two weeks. And Joe, just I, with you here, let me just tell you that, you know, we've tried a number of times to have a site visit with that new solar project on Roaring Brook Road. And uh, I don't know, the company that's, the, the solar company that's supposed to be doing the installation is not getting back to anyone on the Conservation Commission or the people who are doing the project. So we have not we done have a site visit a there. Visit so I can't ask, answer any questions like you were asking about the array size. This is the one on Roaring Brook Road? Yeah, right next door to Roy Cohen's house. Um, well, it, it sounds like it's really uh, going to be smaller than uh, would require a planning board intervention of any kind. That's right. I think it's like around 13 kilowatts. So, so I think 25 is our limit. So it's way smaller. Right. Uh, but but uh, I don't think much of a solar company that's that, you know, <laughs> unicado. But uh, and when there's a lot of really good solar companies around, uh, right here in Western Mass, that are very responsive, uh, including Nelson Shiflett's company that he's he's retired from, but. But I mean, I, I always like to plug people in Conway. Is that Valley Solar, Bob? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but there's there's four of them, right, right, very local. And anyway, I, I had a great meeting this week with Veronique and and Roy and uh, Ron Sweet talking about um, oh. Getting the getting the broadband or get, getting Comcast hooked up at the new garage, so there was there were a couple of questions about w whether anything that might happen with our new franchise agreement uh, uh, is going to affect that, and there isn't. But you know, it's really great to hear how much that project is moving along. So, that's no, the, Bob, that that new um, that new infrastructure, federal infrastructure bill, has billions nationwide for broadband and. There's a minimum, every state has to get a minimum. So so Vermont is gonna get the same as Texas and things like that. Um, so, it, <laughs> and uh, uh, Massachusetts is gonna be getting a lot. 
So they're, 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 I think there's money coming to that. Well, there are still many towns in Massachusetts, Western Mass, that don't have broadband yet. Yes. And, or towns that have committed to like a bond of $2 million to pay the town's portion of a broadband system. And, uh, and they, I know they're hoping that they can get some relief. Uh, Conway and the towns that had uh, Comcast or had a cable franchise agreement already like we did we didn't have to pay anything and and uh the state just funded comcast to pay some and comcast paid some they about split the cost to build out our infrastructure and and so just about every house in conway is now you know able to get get comcast cable if they want it which is really mm -hmm. wonderful all right so um, as for me, I was um, I was at a school committee meeting, and of course, the ongoing union teachers union negotiations, um, which we had uh, on Tuesday. Um, and uh, that's enough said about that particular meeting, I think. And, <laughs> um, and uh, aside from that, we I was at the. I guess this was last week, the Community and Economic Development Committee, the new birthing of a new committee. Um, and also the, uh, um, the ARPA, the, the, there's an our Citizens ARPA Committee about what to do with some of that money. But we were also blessed with a school request for some of that as well. So that'll, that'll help at least answer some of those questions. But um, so aside from that, Next item is public comments. Anybody here have anything to say? Old business, yes. none new. Uh, oh, yes. yes. Uh, okay. it, it's Good. Janet. It's Janet. Yeah. Hi, Janet. And I, hi. Hi. Nice to see you all, some of you. Um, so briefly. What do you mean some of us? All of us, Janet. No, I can't, no, I can't see, like, I can't see Erica. And, oh. You know, oh. Some, oh. It's great okay. on the C, not the sum. You right. missed the part where I have I an eye it. infection and you don't oh. want to see me on screen right oh. now. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess you can see my hand if you want to. Um, uh, it is, you know, I'm chairman of the Open Space Committee. I worked with the Friends of the South River. Uh, and we uh, are concerned with our native environment, protect protecting our natural resources. And, you, you know, we've worked on some, mostly the town, uh, South River Meadow. Um, I had a request, I, uh, 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 somebody, a plant person in town made a proposal to me that they would bring a petition, they would petition an item to town meeting to prevent any more non-native plants being planted on town land. And I said, oh, well, you know, maybe, I, you know, perhaps we can do this without having to petition the town meeting. And so I just wanted to give you a little heads up on that and, uh, you know, listen, any comments you have and whatever I can make a, make a proposal. Yeah, it is, is it that clear that we absolutely don't want any non-native species you know, no, I think, no yeah, good question. And I think we would have to carefully word it. I mean, maybe so there, yeah. so there's, so there's not, well, so there's not invasive, but it, yeah, well, I mean, uh, have to be carefully considered. I mean, somebody wants a few daffodils someplace, you know, okay, that's fine. On the other hand, there are like, uh, uh, we, we would like the town properties to become kind of a, sh a show place, set lead by, you know, set the example. And, and for example, the new planting in the front of the town office building um, has a bunch of daylilies. Now, I also have daylilies, but they take up valuable uh, terrain. And uh, the, 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 many people in town could come up with, you know, some other other substitutes there, for example. So, daylilies are invasive species. No, they're not invasive. I mean, 
well they're just not native they're just not native and they and you know particularly in a show place place they're taking up um valuable soil they're beautiful don't you want we don't we want bees all in front of the town offices uh, that so, would be but i mean but there, there's so there's a couple of different things that for, first of all my, my understanding is most of the plannings in, in that in front of the town office were sort of leftover that the the, the the fellows that did that, that those were leftovers from another job. And, yeah. uh, and, and so, you know, the price was sort of really, really uh -huh. uh, good versus, versus native plants, which uh, um, we would have had to pay for. But not, so necess not, not necessarily. That's true. Uh, that's true. Can, but, you know, bare rooted uh, plants can safely be moved from my place and a lot of other places around. And, and, and uh, the donations can be sought for native plants. And the other thing is that there's um, controversy about the definition of native plants and from a bunch of different um, yes. things as well. So I- Well. Yeah. So, I mean, are we were hearing like no support? We're not, you know, how, how much of a difficulty uh, do you want to make this? Would it be know. possible to write a process of, of how we approve plants that get planted? Uh, uh, well, I, I think you, you might want to think about that or, per, I mean, yes, or, or perhaps delegate it. Uh, I, I hope not to take <clears throat> too much, you know, town. Well, I mean, your, your there's, meeting a, time there's a plant to committee, right? Plant? Or agricultural committee. Yeah, I mean, there is an agricultural committee, but there's also, what, what's the name of the group that has a plant sale every year? The Native Plant Trust. The Native the garden, Plant The Garden Club. The Garden Club. That's what I'm trying to think, Phil. So, I mean, w w could we, w could we, you know, check with the Garden Club? Could they? Uh, uh, yes. I mean, we have expertise on the Open Space Committee. We have strong expertise in native plants, and we have other consultants. But you all can consult with whatever you want. Um, so the other thing too, you know, bylaw, whatever, I, I, I don't know whether you, you said a petition, I don't know whether that means a bylaw, but we, we, can, we tend to keep on doing these things where we state the opinion at town meeting, but we don't really provide a penalty um, or for, for, for violating that opinion, in, in which case most of, our, most of our things that we do are sort of just advisory, no matter what we call it, if there's no, if there's no penalty for violating it. Well, I mean, this 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 was for town property, so yeah. you know, if it passes, there shouldn't you shouldn't have to require too many teeth. I mean, unless uh, I mean, it, it would be the town violating the, the, yes. the law yeah. that we actually so, have. Yeah, we certainly have plenty of exposed mulch in front of the town hall, town we office. Do. Uh, that could stand a lot more plants, okay, like well, daylilies, which I think are beautiful. Ah, yeah. they got to go. Oh. We could use the native. Uh, the the, na the native the native uh, option would be better for that. I'm with Janet on that one, but. Well, I I, I agree with that too. I, I just also wonder whether that is like, I mean, you know, given what we have there now with the person that we contracted with. Is this like an area of expertise so that like would we, you know, we, <laughs> we're going to be bound to, you know, paying a higher price for landscaping or we, we're going to be, you know, stuck with a certain no. vendor because a certain, you know, because only certain people know really how to very attractively plant and landscape with native plants. Uh, there are <clears throat> there are professional garden designers, several of them living in this town. You and don't say and uh, uh, you know, I'm sure we could come up with a couple of sketches. And it, it's not a lot of space, and there's some good things there. You know, it's not going to take very much time uh, to put in. Maybe this is a, a question for Veronique. Then, I mean, is I, I just wonder if this is something we actually have to like make a, a rule about, or whether you know, Veronique is town administrator. And as the select board can just say, we would prefer that the landscaping look, you know, different and, you know, not actually have it be a, you know, something that we need to 
pass a bylaw about or take well, down? This is exactly the reason I just brought it up to you to you know sense an opinion so that it's not consumed by a town meeting discussion. All right. Uh, Janet, is this something that your committee would like to take on? Uh, you guys are doing a lot. We are doing a lot. You know, I think maybe I think maybe I would suggest a little ad hoc group of two or three native plant and, and some of these professionals and some with, you know, the equivalent uh, uh, to, to make recommendation, you know, not we wouldn't have to convene a whole uh, open space committee meeting either <laughs> to to yeah. uh, you know, to request some ideas and they can present them to you. How's that? And then you can veto or not every plant. <laughs> How does that sound? Sure. That uh, I'm, I'm all for not spending an hour talking about it at a town meeting. Yeah. Good, <laughs> good. Well, and, and, but do you, and do you want to come back and see this plan? I mean, even spending an hour of your time and you know our paid staff time on this or uh I feel like I'm I'm not qualified to really weigh in on any particular garden design. Anyone who's driven past my house can can tell you that I should not be I shouldn't have an opinion on this. I mean I'm I'm fine trusting um you know Veronique or, or whatever subcommittee um you know to to decide what this landscaping should look like. Sure. I'm fine saying yes to whatever volunteer offers to do that. Yes. Um, yes. Very good. Okay. 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 Great. Thank you. Thank you, Thanks, Janet. Janet. All right. Um, new business. On to new business. George Forcier, disclosure by non-elected municipal employee of financial interest form. You're, you're still muted, though. There. Okay. So, um, yeah, I thought this is, th thank you for doing this. And um, yeah, and one, one little minor hurdle to have to go through. One more minor hurdle. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. Just to serve your town. Yeah, it's amazing how, how complex this donation has become. You'd think it'd be easy to give the town something of value. But anyway. No. Nothing easy. Yeah. Um, so I, I, you know, I, I, I know when we talked about this last time, I tried to, you know, tried to tip my hat that like sort of this was something that I think is fine. You know, we we've done this in the past, and um, being the being being a neighboring property owner um, doesn't doesn't concern me in any respect. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm fine with it. Anybody else have any? Questions, um, comments about? Uh, uh, is, is this a state form? I, I was a little surprised at the detail here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, it's a state ethics commission form. George, I think we all trust you so implicitly. I know. <laughs> no, I don't have any questions at all. Yeah. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, neither do I. It. Yeah, I saw that form and I was just like, oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, poor guy. yeah. That poor guy. Gosh. Uh, um, Oops. Sorry about that. Uh, incoming. So, uh, I'm all set now. So, um, you know, we'll sign that ASAP and then you will be, uh, well, I guess we have to vote, don't we? Any, all in favor of signing? Aye. Yes, approving. I, 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 approving. Uh, uh, I, I would make that. I would make the nomination, and I will yeah. second that. And, and we all vote Good. aye. Thank aye. You. It's unanimous. So congratulations, George. You're once again what you were before you had to do this. Dynamite. I think the term they use on the historic commission is liaison. Uh, yes. Project. <laughs> Wonderful. All the yeah. power you get with that. Wonderful. Yeah. But, all right. Well, I'll, whoops. while yeah, I, I see down. George here, I'm reminded that I think it was last Friday there was a. There was a planning board hearing that at least I went to. I'm not sure who else was on it. Joe was there, I think. George was there. So um, about the marijuana facility. So right. uh, 
just we're you know disclosing meetings we went to this week and i didn't go as a select board member though i just went as myself because the select board had no you know responsible interest in this we didn't we don't have we 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 didn't have to like rule on it or anything uh although we did receive we did get a chance to read the letter that tom lesser as the lawyer of the people who own it were requesting a waiver from um uh, uh to some extent having to start the process over again you know that that because they they may add some new owners to the project i think george was imagining his uncle might might be <laughs> yeah well some some of my unsavory relatives so yeah right i'm sure you have them yeah <laughs> thanks now 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 nobody likes called, being called unsavory <laughs> except george's uncle <laughs> yeah some people relish that you know, the distinction yeah. Yeah. well now that i'm uh, back in the saddle again i'll tomorrow dive in and start pushing Great. this project ahead again wonderful thank, thank you george Thanks. all right Thanks. i'm gonna sign out and see who's already calling very good thank you good night see you all right next item the appointment of new members of the Community and Economic Development Committee. So this is the new uh, committee. So, so there were one, two, three, four, five. There are five members um, for staggered three-year terms. So the proposal is for Jeffrey Baker for a three-year term, Eileen Schneider for a three-year term, Robert Baker for a one-year term, Michaela Reine, for a two-year term and Mike Haley for a two-year term. So that's. I know, I, I think all of these people, uh, I yeah. really support their, um, <laughs> their, their willingness to serve on this committee. So I make a motion that we appoint, do we have to do this individually or can we just. No, 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 all no, right. please no. I, I second. <laughs> okay, and um, all in favor? I vote aye. Aye. Okay, it's unanimous. Congratulations, Jeffrey, Eileen, Robert, Michaela, and Mike. You are now. And, and they, they've already met once, I think. Isn't that right? Well, yes, we, we did have the initial meeting and yeah. um, a lively discussion. And, Great. Uh, yeah. And now they're now we, now we have one more town committee. Cool. Um, next item: appointment of David Hayes to the position of building and grounds maintenance technician. Start date December thirteenth, twenty twenty one. So I think a lot of people know from the post office, at least David's is David's partner, if not wife. I don't know the exact status of their relationship. Um, I am just psyched that we found someone for this job. So uh, <laughs> I make a motion that we appoint David. Yes, this is the job that Ron thought he had filled. And then somehow the yeah. guy like, yeah. Yeah, was on the yeah, yeah, yeah. chart and... So, so it's really wonderful. I, I'll second your motion. Okay. All in favor, say aye. 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 Okay, it's unanimous. So the next one is on the agenda. On the agenda is for Matthew Martin to the um, to the un. Uh, it says to the position of truck driver laborer. I thought the position was laborer mechanic, and it also says start date to be determined. And I question the legality of that, but I don't. Because I, I was thought you had to have an actual either they're employed or they're not. I, you're voting a start date to be determined seems a little bit slippery. But um, does Veronique have any? Uh, Veronique, is there? Can you shed some light on that? By a chat? Uh, or... I, yeah, I've been trying to chat. Am I? Am I making everything scratchy? No. Yeah. Okay. So yes, I'm sorry. I just didn't get a chance to put in that the start date will be, it will be as soon as possible. We were just trying to make sure that they have um, both been able to arrange their pre-employment physicals and get all their forms filled out first. So it'll probably be the Tuesday, I believe, after this next Monday. And I forget what date that is, the 14th, maybe. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That'd be the 14th. Yep. But are you sure that it was truck driver labor and not, yes. and not labor mechanic? It was because the, the position got changed simply because 
it wasn't felt that we would be able to find a mechanic um, because honestly, I don't think the town could pay enough to get, and, and Ron didn't get any replies on that at all. And, and I can tell you from other towns are having the same issue with trying to find a mechanic. So, all right. Yeah. You know, it's really great to have somebody in place before the snow comes. Yeah. Yes. So the, so the start was, what, what did you say the start date was? The 12th? 14th. 14th. Okay. So, so make a motion for the appointment of Matthew Martin, who is the truck driver laborer starting. Ernie, could you mute? I'm sorry. No problem. You don't have to turn the video off. Just muting your sound is probably enough. But anyway, we're, I'm sorry. No. We're, we're pointing, uh, the, the motion would be to appoint Matthew Martin to the position of highway department truck driver slash laborer with a start date of December 14th. Second. I second that. Oh, good. You got it. <laughs> okay. I'll vote aye. Aye. And I as well. So it's unanimous. And, um, the other one, it's not doesn't require motions or anything, but it's to approve the license renewals, or maybe it does require no motions. I don't remember license I renewals at our last meeting. Yeah, for Baker Store, J and J Mags Antiques, J and J Auto Sales, Oesco, and Vites Garage. Conway I thought we already did that, but I'm I'm willing, totally willing to do it again. <laughs> yeah, I'll maybe that, you're doing it again. I think that was just last year. I don't know. Maybe we did just do that, actually. Yeah. Okay. I, uh, all in favor, <laughs> say aye. 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 Me too. So um, it's unanimous. And uh, oh, we only did come in this. Okay. Upper. So items not anticipated 48 hours. Are we? I have none. Yeah. We're, we're almost finished, so we can just go right to the executive session at 6.30. So um, the mail, there was the annual, annual uh, nothing in particular announced. The next meeting will be. Ver Veronique did have an update. Oh, she does have an update. You're right. Thank you. So she'll have to talk now. Yeah. Which is unfortunate. Oh, dear. <laughs> Or one of us could read her update. Yes. Go ahead. That'd be a better. Is that okay, Veronica? Please go right ahead. I, I hate messing up the video. All right. Good. It's brief. I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and read it. So um, for the, the town administrator update for grants, we have received a $2,010 grant from MIIA for OSHA supplies and training for the transfer station attendance, as well as two ladders. Um, for the transfer station, we have received our inspection report from Jan Amin of the Franklin County Solid Waste District. The main corrective action the town needs to take is to fill and level the pad towards the back, which is sinking due to materials underneath decomposing and settling out. This remediation will likely require some extra funding for FY23. The town had set aside $15,000 in the FY22 Board of Health budget to pay the Springfield Materials Recovery Facility processing fees, but the markets have changed and so far we are making money again rather than having to pay for our recyclables. That's mm. good. So it should be possible to use some of those funds to help pay for these repairs. And Veronique is also pleased to announce, and I'm so pleased to hear the start date of Saturday, January 8th for the return of the compost program. As an aside, my Birthday is January 7th. So when I told my kids this, they said it's a birthday miracle because I've been using the composting so much. Um, and uh, next week, Veronique will be working from home every day but Monday, um, doing a second MCPPO class, um, the 14th to the 17th. Great. Thank you, Veronique. Thank you, substitute Veronique. No problem. Um, okay. So uh, with so the, uh, our next meeting is going to be the 13th, uh, the 20th, Monday, the 20th at 6 p.m. by Zoom, given that's my prediction is it will still be by Zoom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and with that, we are going to adjourn the public meeting into the executive session for statutory reason number six to consider the purchase exchange lease or value of real property, 69 Main Street, Conway, Massachusetts, 
if the chair declares that an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on any negotiating position of the public body and the chair so does declare. Um, so, um, and we will be um, adjourning directly from the executive session. So this will be the close of the open meeting. So um, with that, I think Ronnie, we can. So we, uh, so we need to vote we, by roll call? Yes, yes, to enter executive session for the reasons so stated. Yep. Uh, Erica? Uh, yes, I vote uh, to move to executive okay. session. So it's unanimous to go into executive session. And I vote aye, yes. And yes, and so we can we can stop the recording. Okay. <laughs>